Hey, good evening, guys. What a day. What a day. That's all I can say. Now I'm working on the John Deere 4250. Uh, I want to go out here and try to work some ground. I have a clutch, I think, went out. Fan clutch went out or just a bracket that broke. So I'm removing the pieces to see what we're going to take to get it fixed. So I'm going to put a little penetrating oil in here and I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm going to take this fan uh, bracket off here quick and uh, shroud or whatever you want to call it. And then get in here and take a good look at it. So hang on here a minute. Okay, I got that off. Pretty simple. 13 half inch. Remove those two bolts. Pull the shroud down or the screen down. Put that back up for now. Looks a little better. Now I got a bolt in here, and you're not going to be able to see all this stuff here. This bolt here, I got to get out. It's loose. And uh, see why that's loose. And uh, get this other piece off right here. So let me go ahead and take that off. Put a little penetrating oil on. We're using our Sapico uh, penetrating oil. I never had something work so great. We just took a motor off that uh, grain mixer. Sprayed it, let them soak a little bit. And even the old bolts, where they had square heads and square nuts, came right off. Amazing. So as you can see, I got my broken piece off here. Has something to do with the clutches and the fan here a little bit. Not sure what caused it, but um, we'll have to go and uh, give Deer Country out of Mount Joy, Pennsylvania a call and see what they say. If we just put that bracket on, there's our clutch pad, which I can't believe. Seems like it just some nuts got loose and caused some damage, but nothing serious. Got to take care of the old girl. John Deere 4250. I love working on them. Easy to get around. We just had the air conditioner done by uh, Deer Country. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, try and locate some nuts that dropped here. And then uh, once I do that, we'll give them a call tomorrow and see if we get this old girl going again because I need her right now. Well, we had one of the nuts off the pan fall down here, and he's down there looking around, Let's see if we can find it. We found one that was in the pulley, but one thing you got to be very careful when you work on stuff is to make sure you know where your tools are and everything. So it's a tight spot for my hand, and you can see there I got the one back on. So we'll continue to. Uh, this will be like part one in this because I don't have the parts to repair it. I was too busy on other things here today. But we gotta find that nut. We try to take air and then get some light in there once, I guess. The flashlight's in the baler. Yeah. Go get it there. And uh, I heard it fall and it sounded like it went right down in the pulley, but same spot. All right, guys. So, if anybody knows what those pieces are and what they do, let them in the comments. I'm going to give Deer Country a call in the morning. So, he has a flashlight here now. Maybe we can see down in there. So, it's good to have a helper hand and small hands to reach down and get things done. So, all right, guys. Hope you enjoy this little video here on... Uh, Part one and part two. This is part one of the repair of the 4250. I'm going to consider it's a fan clutch. So when they break, I'm not sure it means a fan cut clutch is going out or just something came loose. As always, leave your comments, suggestions, and have a great evening.